Are you recording? Because I can't tell if you are. Calling KRMS. Press 1 to go on the air shortly. Welcome to my crazy life as a first generation female farmer. The Chronicles of Kayla. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the buddy seat. Good morning, everyone. Um, I've been editing. It's Wednesday. Actually, I've got a call that I'm um, jumping on here shortly with uh, the KRMS radio station down at the Lake of the Ozarks, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I thought I would video some of that for you guys, too. We're just talking YouTube, farming, Vlogmas, all the fun stuff around here. So we will get today rolling. We are also barrel racing this afternoon. So we're going to get Shiloh loaded up, get Rob CJ, and we'll head to uh, the arena. So fun day of just, you know, doing stuff with the kids. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic one wherever you guys are at. Calling KRMS. Press 1 to go on the air shortly. How are you? All right. And uh, you are an influencer. You are a YouTuber. But more importantly, you are a farmer, rancher, slash wife, mother, aren't you? Yes. I kind of have many hats. All right. You came from the corporate world. Kind of explain. So, yes. I uh, worked in finance for almost a decade before I left um, that world and quote-unquote retired to farm full-time with my husband at the end of 2018. All right. Now, uh, we've all watched what has happened here this summer in the state of Missouri and really across the nation with the drought. You guys grow hay and yeah. you package it up in these nice little bundles and everything, but that had to affect not only the growth of the hay, but also your sales. Kind of explain. Yeah, so honestly, the drought really was hard. Like for the last two years, we've kind of been in this steady um, lack of moisture going on. And coming from somebody that just does hay, like we don't have row crops, we just have um, some cows that are kind of our hobby. Our hay is our sole business. It's all we do um, for our income per se. So that really took a hit. But at the same time, hay is at the most demand also. So we're trying to fill our contracts, we're trying to keep our clients happy, and we're trying to make sure we're covered on our own end as well. Okay, kind of uh, explain the partnership that you have with your husband, Jason. Is it a 50-50 or uh, is, I, I would imagine it would be, but yet there's things that he would excel in and then there's places where you excel. Yeah, so it's really a team partnership. You know, he's been doing the hay business since he was in FFA in high school since 2007. That's really where his hay business started was right there in high school as an FFA project. And he has just continuously grown it over the years. But it's definitely a 50-50 partnership. Partnership. We we both have our you know tr specialties. I really excel more in like just baling the hay, whereas his job is to sell it and deliver it. You know, I'm still at the end of the day mom and wife. So at the end of the day, while he might be working on the mechanic side of stuff, I may go home, fix dinner, do laundry, tend to the kids, and that sort of thing. So it's definitely trading off. Um, just knowing where you excel and not getting upset if you can't do something like the other one can. We're talking this morning with Kayla Osorek, and uh, she's a Show Me State Missouri farmer rancher with her husband, Jason. Um, are you guys first-generation farmers? We are, we are. So it's pretty exciting. <laughs> All right. Now, you are an influencer, what they call, or a creator on uh, on. Uh, on YouTube. How'd you get started in that? Um, actually, I started blogging when I was in about 2015, 2016. I started writing and journaling and sharing that on a website. And then in 2020, well, I guess really at the end of 19, my father-in-law kind of sparked 
um, the interest for YouTube and he's like I think you could do this you know you can share your story and that's kind of where it took off was you know just starting to upload and share my content in a little bit more mind focused way instead of just writing for my own purposes okay so we got the radio um, all situated I'm going to finish uploading my video it's actually the last video in um, the vlogmas series I am late I wanted to have this done say Monday for Christmas it's weird focusing I need to figure out the settings on my camera uh, because I am going to stop doing so much here and really focus on bringing really good content for 24 um, I've got my computer out I'm making notes um, I have a couple of different things I'm working on personal like just personal stuff um, the kids actually got me um, a new 365 day journal and I'm going to start it um, just with goals and different things that I want to bring to you guys bring to my own life bring to our family um, I am so so thankful for all of you like first off you guys are absolutely amazing um, we are just kind of cruising through Christmas break just enjoying the kids um, Jason's got some stuff going on at the shop so him and Keaton are, have already went down um, I am just just doing my own thing this morning before I have to go down and chore and get things rolling before Jalen and I go get horses together. Um, so there's a couple things going on in January. There's not A, going to be a whole lot of content, mainly because I'm having surgery on uh, January 8th. Um, we've kind of known about it for the last couple months. I pushed it out. Um, they really wanted to have it done the first week in November but I did not want to be down for Christmas. I really wanted to soak up Christmas and be there with the kids and just enjoy Christmas. Um, so in January, it's gonna be slower. I've got a couple things in the queue that I'm working on. My website will be live, live next week. Um, it's still out there and you can find it at chroniclesofkayla.com, but the blog will be going. Uh, the newsletter will be running, and it'll, it, the newsletter is going to go in a little bit more in depth of what's going on. The blog's also going to highlight that. Um, I'm just not going to share a whole lot on here right now. I don't think um, it, it's it's pretty personal. Um, we'll just leave it at that for now. But I will have to be down uh, for six to eight weeks and possibly longer, depending on the treatment and things going forward. Uh, I will be up and running though for hay season. That like that's our goal right now is just for me to simply um, heal my body, heal my mind, and uh, get ready for hay season because there's big stuff coming. Um, you know, more, more uh, of this, more possibly of this kind of stuff, and we'll be at farm show in Louisville, obviously in February. Uh, I will also be at Farm Progress Show um, in August. There may be some others that we hit in between just depending on, you know, hay season and all the things and uh, where Massey wants us to go. <sighs> it has been such an incredible year and I am so, so thankful. So I am working on one pro well, actually two projects for YouTube, but um, it's going to be a great new year. It, we are going to hit it off strong next week. I have, I'm feeling very good. I have rested a lot. Um, I've been really getting my mind, you know, back into the word and trusting in God's timing and just everything in between. And yeah, yeah, you guys, I am so thankful. I am so thankful for all of you. I am so thankful for the opportunities we've been given on the farm. I am so thankful that Jason pushed me off the ledge and I left my career to do um, something that I'm so passionate about with my best friend uh, day in and day out. And that right there is something to be proud of and thankful for and all the things. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys kind of take off with it too. So I'm gonna head down and chore and then um, come back and me and Jane will get ready and I'll see you at the barn. It's trying to snow.
Feet forward. Butt down, feet forward. There you go. Slow her down. There you go, sissy. Good job. Keep going. Keep kissing. There you go. Good job. Which one? I know. Go, sissy, go. Good job. See, trot her in. Go, go. Kick her up. Kiss at her. Nope, you're dodging. There you go. Bring her on. Go, go, go. Other side. There you go. Go. Loper. There you go. Bring her home. Wait, Jalen. Go. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Sit, sit. Go, go. Look up. Pull her back. You're all right, you're all right. Except for me. Go. Look at, don't look at me, don't look at me. Nice. Keep going. There you go. Good. Go all the way around it. That's what I do and nobody can see. There you go. Bring her home. Do you feel better about that one? What? You feel better about that one? That was cha ching honey. Good morning. It's Thursday. Last Thursday of the year. Month. Everything. Um, I have done some blogging. I've worked out. And I'm getting ready to go. I've got some show calves I need to deal with. Run some errands. And then come back. Work a little bit. Do some chores. Work a little bit. And, you know, just all the fun stuff. Um, gonna make a protein shake and uh, get today rolling so hope you guys have a fantastic day and uh, have fun tag along with us Shake 
Training college for my bones and all this stuff. Scooper in there. You're only as healthy as you take care of yourself. Like um, the blog I wrote today was like mindset stuff, and uh, I've really, really been pushing my own um, mental health and the stuff that I put in my body and uh, all the stuff for a healthy recovery after surgery. So, okay. We'll dump that in. Hopefully it doesn't make a mess everywhere. Doesn't that look delicious? Whoa, I did make a mess. That's nice. Is this your mama? Hi, Queen Bee. Hey, Miss Mohawk thing. Hi, Lena Lou. Hey, Lena. Oh, it's because I have a halter. She ain't gonna come see me. Hey, Leo. Hey, baby. Everybody's turned out now. Out to pasture for the for at least the next couple months. Storm. What you doing, buddy? Hi, pretty boy. Say nope. You don't bring me no feed, no bucket, no, no loves. Hi, Lena. Hello, Lena. You all are butts. Yes, all of you. Hey, baby. Hi. Okay, I gotta get to work, guys. You big butt. You look like your mom. Bye. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Don't you think they only weigh? You're right. They only You're weigh right. 300 pounds. And Ryder only weighs 10. Okay, tie him up. I, I know it's a lot of work, isn't it, dude? It's a lot of work, and I do it all the time. I guess the ropes would be all right. They'll, they'll learn to walk on. Yeah, that's why their knots are in them. Okay. So, this is 308. We're out of a home raised heifer. Good boy. This one is. No, rock! 362 and it's out of a show me heifer and then this one is out of another show me heifer et and it's a home raised baby too so it's thursday night yeah thursday night we're choring make some feed for the mamas jason will obviously go take the mixer wagon i'll take the skid loader back up to the farm barn and I will feed bulls. I've got three show calves tied up. Um, Jason kind of helped me with that. That was kind of comical. Okay, so for reference, um, I typically will do all the breaking and the handling. And then he kind of comes in if they're being ornery and he'll kind of help me um, muscle them up, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm a fraction of what these calves weigh, okay? But it is my job to break these calves. And I really enjoy it, okay? But today, Jason was pulling the slack. I really, I'm pushing it as it is, doing what I'm doing. But I feel good, so I wanted to get it done. Uh, so, there's three show calves. 
one will be for Keaton, and then our cousin will take one again, and then Jalen's got some heifers picked out in a lot. She'll, she's going to feel it. But we're not going to get hers up until um, after weigh-in. Anyway, but we saw the 6145M. So I, I don't know all the story, but apparently the guy or the friend of the guy, you all, you all correct me, I'm sure. Um, somebody that watches our YouTube channel bought the tractor. So thank you for supporting our channel and helping with um, swapping out colors. Really excited about what 2024 holds. Um, it's gonna go off, you know, start off with a little bit of a rough patch. Um, essentially for me, I'm having surgery. It's pretty invasive. Um, invasive, is that the right word? It's a pretty big surgery um, for a female. That, that's, we're gonna, that's, we're gonna leave it at that. Um, I will be down for quite a bit. So maybe if we're lucky, Jason will pick up the camera a little bit. Um, Keaton will be helping step up too because he's not doing anything after school wise besides um, some different clubs at school. He's not playing any sports right now because uh, junior high stuff is done. So yeah, I've got a few more days before I just completely become, I wouldn't say lazy because I'm still doing stuff. Like I'm going to be doing a lot of behind the scenes. Like you guys are gonna get a couple of videos in January that you all have specifically asked for. One is an uncensored, I'm getting really warm. Probably because I got like too many layers on. Uh, oh, an uncensored hay video. If I can find all the footage, I might have deleted a bunch. I'm sorry, because I personally just don't like to put that out there. That's not the type of channel I am. So when that comes out, it's gonna say uncensored hay season. Just know. But there's also going to be a hay season recap of like the best and worst moments, like just just different that stuff. Uh, we'll see how much videoing Jason truly does. We're not going to start calving until the end of January, really probably more mid February, which is ideal, um, especially this go around with me just not being up and going. Let's see, anything else happening? Christmas break is still happening. Um, thank you for that. Mizzou game tomorrow night. Whoop, whoop. We're going to some friends to watch it. It's a big game. And then the new year. We're going to go ring it in with friends on Sunday after church. And I'm just, I'm so excited about, like, the, the year starting on a Monday. You guys know how much I love Monday? I love a Monday. Because to me, a Monday is just like a Friday for me. Like, I really have no cons consolation of what day it is. Like, I am just, I'm living my best life, even on bad days. I am so, so grateful and thankful and blessed. And just, I am so thankful for all of you guys for being a part of that story too. I don't know if he's almost done. We went through almost this whole pile, this first pile. We, we did do three corn silage piles. Um, I'll link those videos too. You guys can go back and see those, so yeah. I have to turn it off. It's starting to overfill back there. You guys, no wonder it's freaking hot in here. Jason's got the freaking heat all the way turned up. No wonder I'm sweating. Turn that stuff back down. It was snowing earlier. I'm not sure if it's still snowing. Way zoomed. Hello, Roxanne. She's muddy. She's been coming with me quite a bit. Probably give her a bath. I don't know if I'm, I probably will not tackle it tonight. Ryder got one yesterday. Oh, Jason's ready for me to go. We're just out and about running a bunch of errands today. Nothing exciting for this Friday. It's snowed, it's cold, it's crappy. We're just working. Ready? Still one more. He's getting ready to go pay taxes. Oh, yuck. Okay, I get I haven't filmed all day because it's Saturday and I've just been taking it easy. Actually, I took an afternoon nap and I just now kind of woke up. Um, but look how absolutely... <laughs> 
stunning the sunset is. It's gorgeous. And it's a true reminder. <sighs> I just wanted to share.